but we are here in this country. And the rhythms of this country are not our rhythms. Right? The rhythms of this country are not Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. They are not Thursday night. They are not the day of Jum'ah. So what we need to do is understand something. Our Islam, it is very easy for our practice of Islam to become an individual practice of Islam. What is Islam about? Islam is about me and my relationship with Allah. It is about me and my prayer. It is about me and my zakat. Me and my fast. But this is not how our religion has been set up. <clears throat> our religion has been set up as a jama'ah. Can you practice Islam on a desert island? Yes, of course you can. That is its beauty. You can. You can establish your prayers. Some of you have been out with me camping. And you will go sometimes over camping, you know, and they'll say, okay, it's, is it time for salah yet? Don't look at your watch. Look at the sun. Look at the shadows. Look at the twilight. How are you going to find water to make wudu? Can you pray on this ground? Look at the stars to navigate yourself. Which direction is the qibla? Yes, you can. Desert island Islam. Yes, you can practice Islam. And you can practice Islam sufficiently to acquire your salvation. But are we in a desert island? When you are not on a desert island, when you are with other people, then your Islam includes other people. Your practice of Islam is not complete unless you include other people in your Islam. You have to give your zakat to someone. You have to find people to give your zakat to. When you are reading your salah, you read your salah in jama'ah. Why? Why do you read it in jama'ah? I was talking, we were just talking in the car, and we were talking about a particular place, and they said, oh, there's a masjid, they don't have provision for ladies. And they don't have provision for ladies, they said, because the, the prayer of a woman in the depths of her house is better than the prayer of a woman in the masjid. Alhamdulillah, this is true. This is true. The question you have to ask is, then, which is a question for all of you in this community here in Blackheath. What is a masjid for? Is a masjid merely a place of sajda? Is it merely a place of sajda? Or is it a place of learning as well? A place of feeding as well? I was shown when I was walking around and I, from here we went there through, through, that, through that door there. And, uh, and uh, your, your chairman said, I'm taking you to the most important room in the masjid. I said, ah, this is not the most important room in the masjid? Yeah? And he said, I said, what's through there? He said, I thought maybe the jannah is through there. He said, it's the kitchen. So I was half right. It's the kitchen. Right? Yes. The kitchen. To feed people. Afshu salam. Wa al-ta'imu ta'am. First advice of Rasulullah upon entering Medina, upon establishing the community, what did he say? Spread peace. This is hadith, it's called hadith awwal al Medina. The first hadith of Medina. Okay? Afshu salam, spread peace. That could be a simple that makes salam to those you know and those you don't. وَأَطْعِمُ الطَّعَامِ And feed people. Feed people. So in other words, fulfill the, the needs of their stomach and the needs of their heart. Right? Feed people, you have filled their stomach. You spread peace to people, which is encapsulated in the salam that you make. May peace be with you. May Allah, who is as-salam, be with you. Now, you fulfill their 